<laughs> Happy birthday. All right. Okay. Now, if I need gas going home, does anybody have some gas money for me? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, any anniversaries coming up this week? All right. No, you had to think for a minute? No? Okay. All right. What month were you guys married in? March. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, ours is in November. Okay. All right. About the week of Thanksgiving, isn't it? Close? Yes, I'm looking. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, if that's all said and done, then let's sing Spirit of the Living God. Uh, and if you would stand, please, and if you can, bring your offerings up and drop them in the offering plates. But this is more like a prayer, okay? This is like a prayer song. Okay. Yeah. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. a little pause soul of heaven heart of God wash over me soul of heaven heart of God wash over me cleanse me teach me hold me and read me, soul of heaven, heart of God, wash over me. Holy presence, love divine, cast out my fear. Holy presence, love divine, cast out my fear. Shield me, free me, call me and lead me, holy presence, love divine, cast out my fear. Uh, thank you. You can be seated. Can I make a comment? I knew that first stanza, but did anybody know the rest of that song? I don't know that I've ever, ever seen any other verses to that. Might I invite you to keep that in your Bible, more to come in a moment as the preacher gives a sermon, but I like that song. That's, uh, that might fit real well with your, your quiet time, your, uh, your devotions, wouldn't it? I, I like that. Okay. All right. Well, before uh, we move along, um, uh, Joel has got a special for us. Hip, hip. Yay. All right. Pastor. Yes. Dakota. Dakota. Um, Carolson can't hear you outside. Cover uh, what? Carolson can't hear you outside. Okay. So I don't. Uh, I adjust it up a bit. Okay. You adjusted it up a little bit? No, I just got to get you so he can hear you. All right. Okay. You know what? It might be the position of the antenna versus where he is, too. All right. All right. Okay. All right. You've been walking the same old road for miles and miles. You've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies. If you're trying to feel the same old holes inside, there's a better life. There's a better life. You got pain. He's a pain taker. Hmm. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. 
If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. We've all searched for the light of day in the dead of night. We've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight. We've all run to things we know just ain't right. And there's a better life. There's a better life. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, well, he's a chain breaker. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can't feel it, somebody testify. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can't feel it, somebody testify, testify. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can't feel it, somebody testify. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, oh, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, oh, he's a chain breaker. Oh, if you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, oh, he's a chain breaker. Yay, Joe. Yes. Oh, good deal. Good deal. Okay. Well, now, if you stay outside, you're still going to be under the weather. <laughs> it, it may be because you're there and you might be out of range of that little antenna. If you pull up, go ahead and pull up into the... Okay. All right. All right. Good, good, good job. Good job. All right. All right. Okay. All righty. Well, that's why Christy was on our prayer list because she was feeling kind of ugly and it and it wasn't getting much better. They went and had her tested, so um, so she just simply a little under the weather. Okay, so hallelujah, right? Yeah. Okay, um, but thanks for wearing your mask and thanks for doing everything that we possibly can to uh, to hold this stuff down. Um, Mike is decon doing pretty good. All right. All right. Good. Uh, how's Lori? Uh, she's getting better. All right. Good. Good. How's DJ? He's actually getting better. All right. Good. All right. How's Jim? Good today. Good today. All right. We'll take one day at a time, right? All right. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, let me just do this to make sure. Okay. Good. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Hang on. Uh, let's keep... Um, uh, Sonny's um, uh, brother-in-law in our prayers, Linda Green's sister. Um, I mentioned this before. Maybe some of you didn't hear this, but Michael Carter is a good friend of Dustin Cole and was in his wedding. Um, was electrocuted with 7,200 volts, uh, and so he's still in the hospital. Uh, they're having to do multiple surgeries, so uh, just keep that young man in your prayers. Uh, John was hospitalized this week. He's getting home sometime today, uh, so just keep him in your prayers. Both of them will still have their surgery. Go ahead. Oh. Uh. All 
All right. Okay. All right. So they postponed that. Uh, Joanne will be having surgery. Uh, Mike will have surgery on Wednesday. Uh, so keep Mike and your Mike West in your prayers. Uh, let's keep our parents and caregivers in our prayers. Mom couldn't come to Leah's birthday party last night because of my stepdad Miller. Just she just could not get away. So uh, that's happening to many of us, right? Um, just about every time you turn around. So uh, let's just keep our parents and our caregivers in our prayers. Uh, obviously, I mentioned election day. Uh, let's keep our election in our prayers. Uh, let's ask that the Lord would just simply have his will worked. Um, but he'd have to convince a lot of people. Um, so uh, let's keep that election in our prayers, all right? Uh, any others? Okay. Well, let's bow our hearts and our heads together. Lord, we're grateful for an opportunity to come, and just for a moment, we might be taking our attention off of ourselves and on to others that need our prayers. We're grateful, Lord, that you answer our prayers, and even today, as we get reports back from folks, we appreciate that you heard our prayers and that you've answered them. We thank you for Deacon and Lori and DJ all getting on a little bit better we pray that you just keep pouring your blessings on them. We are grateful for Jim being with us and him feeling better and doing better. We just pray, Lord, that you'd keep blessing him in ways beyond what the doctors can do. We pray that you'd be with Sony's uh, brother-in-law, David, Linda Green's sister, Michael Carter, as he's still in the hospital, uh, John, as he's released from the hospital, and um, we ask, Lord, that you'd keep blessing him, that uh, his surgery can be rescheduled. We pray for Joanne and her upcoming surgery. We're grateful for answered prayers with Christy. We ask, Lord, that you'd be with Mike as he goes in for surgery on Wednesday and give the surgeons and all that care for him great success in this. We pray, Lord, that you'd bless us, many of us, with elderly parents and that as we try to assist and help and give care, that you'd bless them through what we try to do. And then also, Lord, we pray that you'd bless um, our, our parents, but also us as caregivers. And then, Lord, we pray that as our nation begins to look at the election, as we're getting closer to that day when we cast ballots, that you would bless our hearts, our minds, um, and as we cast those ballots, that that would be according to your will. May your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Now, Lord, we pray that you'd bless us as we uh, take a look at your word and as we consider uh, what it is that you would want every Christian to prioritize. Uh, bless the preacher and the preparation that he's made. Bless the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart. In Christ's precious name we ask it. Amen. All right. Um, Mike, if you could um, turn that monitor off now. or uh, All right. Uh, thank you. No, that was me. Or was that just the monitor? I was just hearing myself so much. You know what? I kind of like hearing myself. I sound pretty good. <laughs> Please laugh at that. Please laugh at that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Hot mess, right? Okay, uh, I want you to turn your Bibles to Exodus chapter 19. I want to cover this whole chapter, and as we do so, it's very tempting to go ahead and look forward to Exodus chapter 20, which is, what do you see there in Exodus 20? Somebody tell me. The Ten Commandments. It's very easy to want to jump ahead and take a look at that. Next week, the Lord willing and the... Creek don't rise. We're going to spend some time on the Ten Commandments. We may not cover them all next Sunday, but that's quite all right. But there was something very important that happened prior to God giving Moses the Ten Commandments. Uh, something terribly important. As a matter of fact, I think it's a very good spiritual Christian principle that we see in the Scripture. I would like to entitle this, and um, uh, Mike, you'll get this recording as I email it to you, but today, uh, Exodus 19, Christian's number one priority is what I'd like to entitle that. I'm going to invite you to stand with me, but I'd like to cover 20 verses, so I'm not going to ask you to stand the whole time, but out of respect.